In the modern manufacturing landscape, mistakes can cost millions. More than 3.3 million total, all because of the risk of fire. How can manufacturers gather the right data and test new technologies in the virtual world to remain agile in the face of ever-shifting demand? Welcome to Factory Tomorrow. Presented by DigiKey. Powered by Siemens, Banner Engineering, and SupplyFrame. Lyft is an accelerator that partners with Siemens to develop new forms of automation and train the next generation of manufacturing professionals. The acronym stands for a lot of different things. Uh, lightweight innovations for tomorrow, leading innovations for tomorrow, learning innovations for tomorrow. The conversations around here range all the way from, hey, give me a wrench to install something on the floor to let's talk about some technology relative to hypersonic material development. You can go from art to part, as they used to say, or from concept to reality. I do a good job now walking backwards, so that's not an issue. Stay in the yellow lines, if you don't mind. It's not about just production, but it's also about can you control the production. Here in the lab, so we're free to make mistakes, we're free to try new things and see how new technologies behave in pseudo real world environments. And then we can show customers safely without them having to invest in their own tooling or take up space on their own shop floor. We've had customers come here and we teach them how to do virtual commissioning. A heavy duty cost savings for anybody that's building machines out on the shop floor. When you first start a simulation like this, you're probably taking a look at it from the standpoint of using typical standard algorithms out of the box, right? What is the machine uptime, downtime, mean time to repair, that type of stuff. When I start to run production, then I can actually capture a week's long worth of production, pump that back into this and say, now I can run the simulation against real production. When customers come to places like Lyft and we, we lay out this digital vision that Siemens has, we show them, hey, there's all these digital threads running through your business, whether you realize it or not, how can we make that better? How can we make it cleaner? How can we allow you to take advantage of that data that you already have? We're not building stuff to sell to anybody. What we're trying to do is exercise technologies like AI through a quality system to have it learn. We are always pushing the envelope with the software that's developed and the automation equipment that comes out of Siemens. I'm tracking how long it's taking and what the operator is doing. Did I inspect that? Yes. Check that part for debris. And then I would pick the base, align the base here, install the drive shaft here. That's the whole purpose, right? Is to go through a build process. And then ultimately, how do you simulate and get the data back from the process to feed back into it for continuous improvement? DigiKey sales of automation-related systems and components have grown exponentially in recent years, showcasing a more widespread adoption of automation solutions in factories around the world. The great thing about being able to come to, to Lyft and see Siemens products in action, we are able to see the customer and how they're using Siemens products and how we can better help the customer achieving their application goals. How do we make things more efficient? How do we reduce the dull, dangerous, and dirty? How can we save money? How can we make things better for people and for processes? The great thing about DigiKey is that we're able to be the one-stop shop for customers. No mountain manufacturer can make it all, so that's where DigiKey comes in hand. From awareness to just making sure the customer knows what we have, we're educating them on new products that they're more used to seeing in their industries. We can get the customer all the different products that they need for their application. Data is becoming the new oil. It's very, very valuable in how companies can get that data out of their shop floor, their existing assets, their greenfield assets, their new assets. Everyone is after that now. The power of a digital thread is that the data is captured reusable within the system by multiple people. If you're not doing things in a connected way, then data is exiting the system and it's out of control. That means you have to capture back and figure out where it was in the process. By having a backbone there in a thread, all of a sudden that data is all contained and everybody's learning and advancing the data as it goes down. As the world around us continues to grow, the benefits of the industrial metaverse are becoming more clear. Manufacturers can utilize new technologies to combine the real and digital worlds as they chart a path forward to factory tomorrow. <laughs>